Hey everyone, Tim with Collect Jurassic here with a news update covering Hammond Collection, Mattel's new adult focused, adult collector focused uh, line of super articulated figures, not to be confused with the now dead Amber Collection. That was the six inch articulated adult collector series. Um, they've instead traded it in for Hammond Collection, which is 3.75 inch, which will scale with all the other Mattel Jurassic toys. And personally, that has me way more excited because these toys will actually fit with everything else. So first up, we have the uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm human figure. And this is a actual packaging shot of the figure. And, it, and I love the packaging of this thing. It looks fantastic. I love the classic Jurassic logo. I love like the window box look at these figures and you can kind of get an idea of the accessories inside. Um, really classy stuff. And speaking of those accessories, it looks like Malcolm here has removable arms as well as a coat he can wear. Um, and of course he has that flair as well. But the figure itself is looking super detailed at least in these early photos the sunglasses look a little better than the previous version that we got with legacy collection and there's lots of other finer details um, found throughout the figure um, like the stitching on the jackets you also can get a sense of the added articulation of um of, of these Hammond collection figures as well uh, of course we have like joints in the wrists um, that allows them to swivel and pivot back and forth uh, the elbows and knees also have uh, additional articulation that wasn't present on the Legacy Collection figures. If you think about it, it helps to think about, unfortunately, for those Amber Collection fans, it's basically that articulation shrunken down to this smaller scale. Besides Malcolm, we also have a couple other figures coming to the line this year, including Alan Grant, which I'm personally very excited about. Alan Grant's one of my favorite characters, and the Amber Collection figure version of him left a lot to be desi desired in terms of the likeness. So I'm hoping this smaller scale version Version, um, has a better likeness. The Legacy Collection Amber Allen Grant was just fine, so hopefully they can bring some of that magic over into a more articulated figure with some interesting accessories. And of course, besides Allen Grant, we also have Ellie Sattler coming this year to the Hammond Collection toy line. Uh, again, another Amber Collection figure that had sort of a I don't know, an unsettling likeness uh, compared to Laura Dern. So again, the Legacy Collection figure, the 3.75 inch figure we already have is actually a pretty decent likeness. So if they could just take that over and add some more articulation and paint detail, I think a lot of collectors, including myself, would be happy. Um, that's just the humans coming out this year. Hopefully there's more on the way. But speaking of dinosaurs, um, instead of humans, we do have a smaller uh, assortment available that uh, Velociraptor is leading the charge with. This figure I'm so excited about. This is like a dream figure for me. It is smaller scale, 3.75 inch, but it's packed with articulation and paint detail of that original Jurassic Park Raptor. Um, definitely just a smaller version of the Amber Collection one, but again, the scale is what makes me excited because this goes with all the vehicles and other human figures we already have. Um, some of the play sets, some of the new stuff coming out for Dominion. This super articulated um, Jurassic Park 1 Raptor is going to scale with all that stuff, which is just really exciting. Um, packed with articulation and detail. Again, very similar to the Amber Collection release, just at a smaller scale, which um, suits me just fine. Uh, I'm probably going to buy at least two or three of these to open because there's going to be some awesome toy photography to be had with this very articulated Raptor at a smaller scale. So really, really excited about this one. And we'll probably see it again painted as blue, <laughs> painted as a couple other different Raptors. Um, if, if anything, if Amber Collection is anything to be an indication of. Also in this smaller line, we have Gallimimus coming, which will be awesome because I'm sure it's covered. It's going to be based on the Jurassic Park uh, species, and that's just another species that's covered from that first film. I would expect it to be similar to the Legacy Collection or Battle Damage version of the Gallimimus with just some added articulation, but they already have the paint dec deco kind of perfected on those figures. So they really just need to bring it over here with that added articulation and it'll make um, it'll make me happy. So another classic Jurassic species coming to this line this year is Dilophosaurus in this smaller assortment. Again, the Amber Collection Dilophosaurus is an excellent figure, so they really just need to bring it down to the scale. Uh, I wonder if it'll come with two, uh, like, uh, two uh, 
what was it like the neck frill um, that was removable and you can it came with two different necks basically one with the frill open and one with the frill down so uh, I hope we get to see that in this smaller scale figure but I, they could make some sacrifices too just for the price point but remains to be seen um, moving on to the medium sized assortment of course we've probably talked about this figure before on the channel but it's the the first uh, behind the gates reveal for Hammond collection was this awesome looking parasaurial office that's based on the last world uh, appearance of the figure. Uh, the paint on this is incredible. Their articulation is credible. This is a wholly unique figure too. This isn't kind of based off an Amber Collection figure shrunk down. This is um, all new for Hammond Collection, um, not based on a six inch version of the figure. And again, it's just packed with detail and it looks like it jumped off the movie screen from Lost World, honestly. Um, I've already made a spot for this on my collection shelf because I'm just so excited about this figure. I'm so excited about Hammond Collection as a whole. I, I haven't been this excited about a toy line probably since Mattel first got the Jurassic license. Um, but since I was a young collector, I always wanted a really articulated, um, really paint detailed uh, line of Jurassic figures that were smaller scale and um, and we're finally getting it this year which is super exciting so in addition to Parasaurol Office we also have Baryonyx from Fallen Kingdom um, really nice paint decor on this one as well again I think we've talked about this one on the channel um, but uh, I'm, I'm guessing we'll see a couple repaints of this one too um, you know Lagos, uh, Hammond Collection is going to cover pretty much the, all the movies and probably Camp Cretaceous as well so I expect to see uh, Limbo, Chaos, and Grimm um, reuse this mold. Mattel gets their money out of <laughs> out of their tooling, so I expect to see this Baryonyx again. But that's just fine because it looks like a great figure. Again, this is a medium-sized figure, so it will scale bigger than the Raptor and bigger than the human figures and bigger than the uh, the large-scale figure, which we'll talk about at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can just get an idea of Hammond Collection's attention to paint uh, decor um, just in this photo alone compared to their core line. There's paint on the tail, paint on all the claws, stuff we don't see on the um, the core, more affordable line. Um, but besides Baryonyx and Parasaurol Office, there are a couple more species coming this year. Triceratops is coming, which should be an awesome figure. Uh, I'm hoping that it's based on Jurassic Park Triceratops and not Jurassic World Triceratops. There is a difference. Their, their heads look a lot different for one thing. Um, I wouldn't be surprised though if this is Jurassic World. That just kind of seems to be the, the MO of Mattel's to base things off Jurassic World. And if they need to be Jurassic Park, just paint them like Jurassic Park. But we'll see. And, and I hope this is a suitably large enough figure too to scale with the human figures. It needs to be a little bigger than their regular Triceratops. We also have Ceratosaurus, which, you know, is from Jurassic Park 3, in addition to Camp Cretaceous. So I would expect it's going to have that classic um, reddish head and the kind of light white, light gray, black spots on the body. Like all the um, you kind of Mattel figures that already have before it. Um, but with that added articulation, that should make this uh, a pretty cool um, kind of definitive version of this species to own. So... Um, looking forward to that. And of course, the last figure on our list, and probably the most exciting, is Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes, a super articulated, super detailed Hammond Collection version of the T-Rex is planned for this year. If uh, listings are any indication, it should be out by the end of this year, by the end of this summer. Um, this is probably going to be the definitive T-Rex figure that we've all been waiting for. I mean, Mattel has done so many different T-Rexes, but this one's going to have lots of articulation um, and lots of detail so looking forward to getting an actual look at that figure eventually here on the channel um, but yeah i mean that's that's what they're packing for hammond collection just this year already off to a very strong start much stronger than amber collection had in its first year so here's hoping that this incredible toy line of super articulated figures just keeps going and going and going and we get more um you know, classic characters and more dinosaur species from the first few films next year, and that this line just continues to grow. That's all I really want because it is the toy line I've been waiting for. But I think that's all I got for today. Again, I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.